Okay. So it would seem that um, regarding armors in Halo Infinite, what we've seen so far is pretty good looking. I like it. I like where it's going. But there's something that's been nagging at me for a while now. Regarding armor that is... Uh, Regarding armor that is uh, unlocked through a specific action, uh, a specific action that is uh, achieved in game, uh, or ach or uh, more, uh, even more directly, armors that are directly tied to completing an achievement. So this was the only way to unlock armors in Halo Three. Um, was you achieved a certain goal in the campaign, or you achieved a certain goal in the mil in the multiplayer, and you got an achievement for it. And when you got that achievement, you got the armor, or maybe you, when you got the armor, you got the achievement. And when you and to get the armor, you do the thing. But anyway, uh, the the thing that I'm look hoping to see, uh, the armors that I'm specifically hoping to see regarding uh, regarding that, are Currently, I only have four that I can think of off the tip of my tongue. I want to see two armors return to Halo. Now, one of them uh, is a very old, and I'll uh, try to splice in a picture here. It is the uh, the uh, 1999 Macworld Master Chief armor. Uh, the really, really 1990s sci-fi looking armor that he only had for that. Uh, that was quickly phased out and replaced with the, the model we see in Combat Evolved. I want to see that be like one of the vid, like the equivalent to the Vidmaster achievement uh, armor, like Recon. I want that armor to, because, you know, Halo's this, Halo Infinite's supposed to be this uh, sort of roundabout, like, oh, we're returning back. Well, what would be more better for a return to form than a in an included homage and direct tribute to the very root, the seed of Halo. And and in its visual art style, that would include the 1999 Macworld armor. I'm going to put up, a, yeah, that picture that I put up uh, was a HD uh, recreation for a fan game called Installation Zero One. And it is damn fine, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Um, well, another another one that I'd like to see return, Hayabusa. I would like to see Hayabusa make a return in a Reach esque because I've noticed that the armor style they're going for in Halo Reach's Halo Infinite's multiplayer is very Reach inspired, and you know, but with uh, certain uh, updates and integrations from other games, like you'll notice you'll notice the shoulder vents aren't the Reach like pointy Reach style; they're the squarey Halo Three uh, vents on the like uh, these shoulder vent things. I'm not entirely sure what they're called or yeah, shoulder vents. Um, you and the chest piece, the actual breastplate is very is straight out of Halo Reach. The wrist armor seems to be straight off the Mark V armor from Combat Evolved. The uh, leg armor too, or the calf armor. I'm not entirely sure. And and the leg armor, the thigh armor is like right out of Halo Reach with a little bit of changes here and there. Um, the crotch armor of Halo Reach 2 <laughs> also slightly changed. Um, the um, the thing that yeah, uh, I want to see Hayabusa updated to that into that uh, style because Hayabusa was very very uh, it, it was unique and it was uh, pretty cool and it still fit into the art style, which was the interesting thing. Then I want to see if they can pull that off again, and I would love to see it return. Now, a uh, third armor going to talk about would is a con totally just a concept armor um and i'm gonna actually i'll save that one for fourth well we'll we'll instead we'll do what the the original what was originally gonna be fourth the halo 5 beta or something like it in the same style as it a uh, halo 5 beta nightfall armor now the nightfall armor in halo 5 beta looked exceptionally good it looked very, very good. Uh, I liked. I like. I really did like the like the getting rid of the shoulder vents, get that those big thing pylons on the back of the armor, M really f sleeking it down, making it look like you're just a Spartan wearing ODST armor. You're not wearing much of anything Mjolnir. You're just. We're mostly just wearing ODST armor because you. That's all you need. It's like the mission you've been outfitted for only needs that. I love the look of that. I think they kind of screwed up the helmet in the uh, and the armor too. In the uh, in the final release of Halo Five Guardians, uh, but that's besides the point. 
Now to the final concept armor. <clears throat> well, quick, actually, quick note. Uh, I would like to see that uh, that armor. Uh, I'd like to see that kind of armor, marine or ODST armor that is that looks like it's just been bulked up to be put onto a Spartan, not Mjolnir that's made to look like ODST or marine. Anyway, now actually the final armor uh, is the concept armor that I mentioned earlier. It is the one what I want to see is something. Since uh, Microsoft recently acquired, well, recently, recently acquired uh, 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 Bethesda and a lot of medieval properties, such in the Elder Scrolls, uh, they could, inc they could, I would like to see this. I'm not entirely sure what <laughs> the um, what the uh, requirement for it would be. Um, they could put in. Um, a, a, an action in the campaign, or maybe this could be a multi. No, no, no. This would have to be campaign because the the vidmaster equivalent one would, would be the 1999 Mac World, as I said earlier. Um, the uh, something like that, but it, a, a knight looking armor. Like I'm, I'm gonna put up a picture of a knight of the of the kind of knight armor, like real life knight armor, um, plate full with the big visor and the big pointy sort of face and all that. I want to see that sci-fi if I, <laughs> if you can call sci-fi if I, I guess. And uh, I want to see that on a Spartan. I want to see that Spartan if I, uh, uh, you know, uh, I would love to see that in Halo or, or Halo's or three four three's take on that in a Halo art style. Let's see, and that's the that's the four that I can really think of at the moment. Um, if there's anything else you guys would like to see regarding armors that would be require like armors that would be cool to be unlocked purely through achievement not through uh through anything and fucking achilles doesn't fucking count uh, uh and i don't want to see a, anything like achilles the way you unlock that because the requirement of having to do a spartan company and get everyone there to sr was it, sr 150 152 something like that um that was a pain in the ass I never did it because it never intrigued me. I didn't think Achilles looked that good. It's pretty badass, but I don't think it was good enough. It was enough to justify that. Um, the the uh, the the thing that needs to be achievable on your own. That isn't to say that it is not to say that it'd be easy because Vidmaster was not fucking easy. Uh, it can be achieved with with a group of your of either just you or a group of four like old games four player split screen or four player co-op on the campaign to do some of the vidmaster some of the vidmaster achievements if not it, well if not just one then some then yeah i would like to see that and then that maybe unlocking the 1999 mac world uh tribute um maybe uh reaching rank something with a reaching rank something with a certain amount of of medals of specific like oh you get a, a if you get s uh, seven assassinations in a single match okay let's, let's we're just spitballing here say you get seven assassinations in a single match you get the hayabusa you get that ninja look at armor and then we connect it a little bit to the uh to the achievement as well uh, the odst armor um maybe you know uh, kill someone while you're falling, you know, well, to, you know, get the kill shot while you're in midair, uh, falling, you know, and you do that a certain number of times and you get the, uh, you unlock the, uh, the, the, uh, certain armor, uh, parts of the ODST looking or Marine or whatever it ends up being armor. Like, you know, some, if it's ODST, maybe you fall, maybe while you're falling, if it's a Marine, maybe uh, a certain number, like, you have to get a shitload of assists um, in a single game. You have to get a shitload of assists. Just making jokes about how the Marines in campaign weren't really, uh, <laughs> they weren't really uh, machines for killing things. They were machines for holding, hold this weapon while I take yours, and and uh, I'm, and I'm going to use you as cannon fodder if need be. That kind of, like, you know, play into the things that make Halo fun. Uh, and uh, when we partake in it we get in it and we partake in it particularly well let's say we get an armor and an achievement to go along with it these are just a few ideas i'd like to hear what you guys have to think thank you god bless you farewell